talked about wind damage there. I want to show you some other wind damage. This is Fort Sewell. This was the iconic tree around which so many people took pictures at weddings and other celebrations. Eric, right there on Gail's head. A lot of people sad about what happened at that park. Uh, it's so sad to see. It's such a beautiful town. Uh, gosh, I gotta say, don't do any favoritism, but Marblehead's gotta be one of my favorites here in New England, and that is such a scenic point. Whenever you lose one of those types of trees, uh, it just kind of leaves a hole for some people. I mean, you're used to seeing it for so many years. Those storms packed a punch out there yesterday afternoon, especially toward the North Shore. Our weather headlines moving forward, well, a lot quieter now. Drier air in control for today, tonight, and tomorrow. We get back to the muggy stuff on Saturday. That's gonna bring back a chance for a storm or two and we'll stay very warm through the next week nothing exceptional but just consistently warmer than average for this time of the year that was the story in july kind of wrapping things up here you know there had never been a month with the average low temperature hit 70 degrees in boston since 1872 until last august and then this July just beat that record from last August. 70.7 was the average monthly low. When you look at the highs, a little bit behind the low temperatures, it was the third highest average high on record with 1983 and 1952 coming in just ahead. We had 12 90 degree days and all told, and made for the hottest month ever recorded in Boston. Warm today, just shy of another day on the heat wave. It hit 89 degrees, lots of 80s out there. But overall, the temperature is coming back a little bit. The biggest change has been the humidity as high pressure Pressure moves in and that front goes offshore. Drier air, which we certainly were all jonesing for, and that's going to get us back into the 50s overnight tonight under mainly clear skies. Comfortable conditions, and we'll get uh, just into the low 60s for most of the coastline and in the city. But it sets up a perfect Friday forecast. I think it'll be an ideal day to be outside. Temperatures warming up into the 80s during the afternoon. Dry air, a light northerly breeze, and then it comes on shore for some of the coastline. So a light sea breeze expected tomorrow. But a lot of sun, highs in the middle to upper 80s inland, lower 80s near the coast, as well as across some of the higher terrain in central Massachusetts. Perfect beach day if we're heading out from Cape Cod to the seacoast and all the points in between for our Friday. Getting the weekend started, you might notice the water is really warm for this time of the year, well into the 70s, and even some spots approaching 80 degrees right now for the sea surface temperature. If you look at the dew points into the weekend, we've got the dry air tomorrow. Saturday, they're going to start to come up again, so those dews will rise to the 60s and even touch 70. With that, there is a chance for a storm or two to pop up. We'll see brief humidity there, drops back again for Sunday and Monday, then it's going to start to come back up as we head into Tuesday. But in terms of any active weather, we're dry tomorrow. Here comes that front with a chance for an afternoon shower or storm on Saturday, and then it heads offshore as we head into Sunday, bringing drier weather with that. So temperatures will be well up into the 80s this weekend, muggier on Saturday with that risk of an afternoon storm, and Sunday we're talking about drier conditions and a lot of sun. And Monday looks beautiful as we start next week. Tuesday, a little bit warmer and bringing back a chance of storms and humidity for Wednesday and Thursday.